Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window and welcome to our Come and Bright Quilt Along. I am so excited for you guys. We are halfway through making this beautiful quilt that is behind me. Isn't that lovely? I'm so excited for you guys. You're working hard and achieving a beautiful results. Today, we're gonna talk about this gorgeous basket right here in the corner. This is our week number five, and we're gonna make four of those cute little baskets. Are you in? Come on, let's have some fun. For anybody that's just joining us in, I have a beautiful kit called Common Bright on our website. Yes, those kits are still available. If you wanna grab one, they're not gonna be lasting long. So if you want one, please do it. In the kit, you have all the beautiful dark fabrics, light fabrics. Make sure you save every bit of your leftover fabrics because you're gonna be using them for appliques. I'm super excited for you guys. We also have a common bright pattern. All the cutting directions are in the pattern and there are also acrylic templates available for these projects. For anyone, like I said, that is joining us just in, go to our website, on our blog, you will find all the information and you can join us anytime. So come right in. Today, like I said, we're gonna be making this cute little basket. I'm so excited to make those. We're only gonna have to do four of them. We're gonna start by making half square triangle units. We're gonna be taking a dark and a light half square triangle. We're gonna place them right sides together stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance the next step we're gonna open the unit up trim those bunny ears i have my cute little scissors i'm gonna trim those bunny ears right here and press it as soon as i finish pressing i'm gonna go ahead and square it out to two inch by two inch i need three of the dark one and i'm gonna need Oh, one of a pink one. Isn't that cute? Look at this. Isn't that nice? Again, the pink one, we're going to do it the same way. We're going to take two half square triangle, place it right side together, stitch it, flip it open, and we're going to have those cute little units done. I have prepared some for you guys. And oh, and I'm so sorry, we're going to need two dark ones and one pink one. So right there, we have a pink one to start. We're gonna start laying our block. We have the two uh, half square triangle units right there, here. We need three of just half square triangles in dark. They're gonna be the top edge of our basket. Then we're gonna have two rectangles on a left and a right for our base. And we need two more half square triangles in dark for our base, isn't that nice? Now we're gonna need a light one, half square triangle for the bottom and light on the top. Those are all the pieces that we need for one block. Like I said, all the cutting directions are in your pattern, just follow that. And now you can be ready, set, go to create this beautiful unit. We're gonna start by sewing our sections together, okay? And you can start by taking this half square triangle, place right over rectangle, stitch right here, flip it open. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna place this rectangle, stitch, flip it open. And I prepare those for you guys. Look at how cute they are, yes. So, and then now let's focus on this center. We're gonna go ahead and sew this into rows. We're gonna have a row number one, and this area, it's gonna be row number two, and then just add this triangle right on the top. How I do that, I just take my half square triangle units. The most important part, it is that when you make those units, make sure you trim them to exact two by two because it makes your life so much easier. You're gonna stitch, you're gonna flip it open, and you're gonna add this triangle on this side. So first row, second row, third row, sew it together. And now you're gonna sew the triangle, light triangle right to it. Look at this, isn't it nice? I just did that, I had so much fun when I was sewing my light triangle, I'm paying attention that I don't lose any points right here. And I just stitched it 
really nice. As soon as you finish this unit, you're going to go ahead and place this right over, match exactly right there, stitch, flip it open. If you finish this unit, I'm going to step back for a moment, and you're not unsure about the size, it should be five by five. And you can check that you are right there and you have a correct size. So as soon as you finish checking, then you can go ahead, place this, sew it, flip it open. Then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side, match beautifully on the top, sew, flip it open, and now all that it's left is so that one, one triangle in the bottom by just placing right sides together, stitch and flip it open. Wow, that went so nice and quick for us. Look at this, guys. I have a block. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rotary and a ruler, place it right over, check that my block is six and a half by six and a half, and I'm going to trim it to if there is any extras to square my block up and i'm paying attention that i have enough room here enough quarter inch here quarter inch here so that way i don't accidentally trim too much and don't have a nice block to later on put it into my quilt so i'm gonna trim it look at this done i'm gonna go ahead turn the block around for me and trim the other side again by putting that ruler right over. And if you want to know a little bit more about trimming blocks, I had a wonderful live shows show a few weeks ago where I show a hard applique and how to trim blocks. I'm going to line this up one more time. Yep, perfect. Sometimes when I talk, things get a little bit off so i have to be careful double check before you trim before you do anything but look oh a little bit of trimming but now this block is so nice you're gonna repeat to make four of those blocks because you need one for each corner around your a beautiful feather star and all that you're gonna do is at this block right here we also gonna cut a strip like this look at this strip like this because this strip is gonna be added right here into the quilt basket basket then you have your middle part where you're gonna have your feather star and you're gonna add right and the left also this kind of strip and in the bottom another row where you're gonna have two more baskets so total of four basket for each corner and uh, remember the position of your basket you want to rotate that it uh, faces towards your star that was for today I love that we have a little bit less of work this week because if you have fell behind on making your stars, you can keep going with those, finish them up because we're going to need them soon to add them to the quilt. So for now, four basket and catch up on anything that you have fell behind. Happy quilting and I look forward to see your projects. Make sure you hashtag them comment bright quilt alone so i can see them on instagram and uh, facebook i can't wait to enjoy the pictures and see beautiful results for you guys happy quilting mm -hmm.